In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the PowerX MH C9000 Pro Professional Charger Analyzer and explain why you should buy one if you're a serious user of rechargeable AA or AAA batteries. Firstly, I'll tell you why I bought one, then I'll explain the different functions of the charger, and finally, I'll show you the device in use. In recent years, I've acquired a huge amount of devices that use AA or AAA batteries. These are devices from just one room. We have a remote for a ceiling fan, remote for air conditioner, remote for TV, remote for a digital set-top box, and a remote for Blu-ray player. Um, most rooms in the house are like that. And in addition, I have camera flashes, four, four camera flashes that all use four AA batteries. There are bicycle lights, uh, batteries for wireless microphones, and numerous children's toys. And a few years ago, I just got fed up keeping going out to buy new batteries every time batteries expired. So I started to invest in rechargeable batteries. But just recently, I've run into some problems because with time and use, rechargeable batteries degrade, and there's no way of knowing. At first, I just use a very basic battery charger. When you're charging the batteries, there's a blue light that comes on, and when the charge is finished, the blue light goes off. But there's no way of knowing anything about the battery's condition. The energy performance of a device is limited to the performance of the weakest battery. So if you have a device with four batteries, and three are running at 100%, and one is running at 20%, the overall performance is only 20%. And in the case that one battery is completely dead, the device won't work. And I experienced this quite recently. My wireless microphone has two batteries in the transmitter and two in the receiver. And I went out recently and one battery was dead, so the device just wouldn't work. Fortunately, I had some spare batteries, but if I hadn't have had any spares, I would have had a big problem. Car batteries are rechargeable, of course, and when I had problems with my car battery a year or two ago, I bought these two devices and this device is a, a battery analyzer so it gives me a very accurate indication of the state of my battery and this device is a charger and it also has a pulse repair function so if the battery starts to degrade this device can repair it and what I really wanted was a, a similar kind of device for my AA, AAA rechargeable batteries but I wasn't aware of one being available and then I discovered the PowerX MH C9000 Professional Charger, which is what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. The device can only be used with NIMH or NICD batteries. If you have any other type of rechargeable batteries, such as lithium iron, don't use them in this charger. The device has four modes. The first mode is charge mode, and this should only be used on batteries that are known to be good. And when it finishes, it will tell you the accumulated energy that's been put into the battery. It won't tell you the available capacity of the battery. Discharge mode will completely discharge the battery. And when it's finished, it will tell you the accumulated energy that's been removed from the battery, not the available capacity. I'm not quite sure what this is for. Obviously, some people will find it useful, but I can't see myself having a use for it. The mode I normally use is refresh and analyze. What this does, it charges the battery to full capacity, rests for one hour, then discharges the battery, rests again for one hour, and then charges the battery to full capacity again. Doing this will recondition the battery and when it finishes, it will tell you the available capacity of the battery. If you have a battery that's degraded or that hasn't been used for a long time, you can try break-in mode. And this does basically the same thing as refresh and analyze mode, but it uses a very slow charge and discharge. The charge is one-tenth of the normal rate and the discharge is one-fifth of the normal rate. Because of this slow charge and discharge, it can take a very long time, from 39 to 45 hours. And when it finishes, it will tell you the available capacity of the battery. In summary, I'll probably never use discharge. 
I might use break in if I have a problem battery, but mostly I'll just be using the charge and refresh and analyze modes. When you're using the charger, you have to input the charge and discharge rates. And these depend on the capacity of your battery. So look at your battery to see what the capacity is and then use these charts to get the appropriate charge and discharge rates. The display is backlit and the backlight comes on whenever you press any button and remains on for 15 seconds. If it goes off and you want it to come back on again, just press any button again. If you want it to remain on permanently, you need to press the up and down buttons simultaneously. I'll just demonstrate that when the backlight goes off. So it's now on permanently. And if you want to turn it off, just do the same thing. Press the up and down buttons simultaneously. My only criticism of the charger is that there's no indication of polarity. What I was expecting was a plus sign to tell me which way to put the battery, but there isn't one. So that's a bit confusing at first. But the negative end goes towards the front, towards the display side. And you put the negative end in first, and then push the positive end down at the back. And it's a, a very positive connection, unlike my old charger. Before you begin, you need to know the charge and discharge rates for the battery you're going to charge. And the battery I'm going to charge has a rating of 2550 milliamp hours. And looking at the user manual, the charge rate is 1300 and the discharge rate is 600. You need to know this because you need to act fairly quickly. If you don't press a button within 10 seconds, it will just default to the last setting. So we'll put the battery in slot one. It can actually go into any slot. So negative end first, then press down positive end. It's flashing mode, so we're going to, we're going to go into refresh analyze mode, then press enter. And it wants to know the charging rate, so that's 1300, which is actually correct. Press enter again, and that's the discharge rate, and that's also, that's also correct. We can change it if we need to. And then press enter again, and then it starts to charge. The charger has four modes and four slots, so theoretically you can perform a different operation on each battery, but that's not what I normally do. I normally perform the same function on all four batteries. If you want, you can set the function for each slot individually, the same way that I just did uh, slot one. So you do slot one and then it goes on to slot two and you go through the, the mode and the charge and discharge rates hit enter, then it goes on to slot three, do the same thing, then it goes on to slot four. But if you want to do the same thing with each battery, that's a bit of a, a long-winded way to do it. It's much quicker just to put all the batteries in the slots. And now it's pointing at slot one, and it wants the mode. So do the mode, which is refresh, analyze. Yep, the charge rate is correct, the discharge rate is correct. And now instead of doing a quick enter, if we hold this enter key down for two seconds, it will now apply those settings to every slot. So now we don't have to go through each one individually. We just do it once and then it applies those settings to all four batteries. Now that the battery is charging, it will cycle through each individual slot giving you information for each individual battery. And it's in refresh analyze mode. So what that means is it will charge each battery to full capacity, rest for an hour, do a discharge, rest for another hour, and then do another charge to full capacity before finishing. And the information it gives you is the current in milliamps, the capacity in milliamp hours, the voltage, and the expired time in minutes for each function. So at the moment, it's on slot three, it's just gone to slot four. So it'll give you, so milliamps, milliamp hours, minutes, and volts, and it will go through that information twice, and then it will cycle onto the next slot. 
So now it's on back on slot one. Milliamp hours, milliamps, minutes, volts. You'll see that information twice. And then it will cycle onto slot two. Once the operation's finished for each individual battery, you will see done under each slot and the charger will continue to cycle through the information for each battery. And at this stage, all I'm really interested in is the capacity for each one in milliamp hours. And what I'm going to do is to write that information on a small sticky label and put it on the battery. So then I'll know what my best batteries are. And when I use multiple batteries in a device, I'll select batteries that have roughly the same capacity. All that's left now is a conclusion, and I think it's a fantastic device. As I said earlier in the video, I use a lot of AA and AAA rechargeable batteries, and some are used in quite important applications, and it's great to be able to know the exact condition of every battery, and also to be able to recondition batteries that have degraded. The PowerX charger was significantly more expensive than this basic charger, but this basic charger won't tell you anything about the condition of your batteries. And in life, we're all different. And if you're not that serious about rechargeable batteries, then this sort of thing will be fine for you. If you are more serious, I would highly recommend the PowerX charger. I've been delighted with it, and I'm more than happy to recommend it to other people. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you have any questions, comments or other feedback, please leave them below and hopefully there will be more videos soon. Thank you for watching.